Hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be a very quick tutorial on how to install uh, Vortex from Nexus Mods and also going to go over how to get Oblivion uh, remastered set up with Vortex and up and running and also an easy fix for a bug that a couple of people have been experiencing when they install Vortex. Their game begins to crash. They can't run Oblivion remastered. So real quick, uh, I'm just going to leave a link in the description below to every part of this that I'm going to, the nexusmods.com, which is the website where you can get a ton of mods for Oblivion Remastered. Uh, I will also leave a link in the description for the download for Vortex, which is the tool that Nexus Mods created in order to manage mods. So. Uh, if you look here on the home page, we have all these tabs at the top. Games is where you can search for a different game. Mods is mods for those games. Uh, support here is where the install for Vortex link is at. So we click on that. Hopefully it's going to load. Yep. Okay. So this is just the page for Vortex. We can download the latest version now. You can see the main page here. Uh, there's a description about all of this here if you want to read up on what Vortex is. We've got a couple of videos as well. Uh, but right now we're just going to download Vortex from the Files tab here. Uh, it's a manual download. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it is going to remind us that uh, it has a couple of requirements. It does require .NET 6.0 or greater, as well as Windows 10 or greater. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Do a slow download. Uh, I do not know if you need a um, Nexus account in order to download Vortex, but you will need it in order to sync between Vortex and Nexus mods. So go ahead and make a free account. It's free and easy, no big deal. Um, I'm going to download the executable on my desktop so it's easier to clean up when we're done. I already have it downloaded because I've already installed Vortex quite a bit. Um, I did uninstall Vortex just for this video. Uh, one great thing about Vortex is if it gets deleted for whatever reason. That doesn't mean that all of your mods are deleted. It keeps all that data stored anyways. And so when you reinstall, you're going to have access to all your mods. Um, and I think it already knows where all your games are as well. So when we open this for the first time, it is going to maybe look a little different from what you might find if you're just now installing Vortex for the first time. I'm going to go ahead and let the app make changes. Uh, I think program files is just fine for an install location. I don't think there are any permissions issues that Windows has, which it's notorious for. I'm just going to hit install. It's going to take a couple of seconds here. And then we're going to run Vortex. Alright, so as you can see, I already have Oblivion Remastered set up, but I'm going to go through the scenario where you don't have Oblivion Remastered set up. Um, let's see here. Do I delete it? Man, if I do, it does get rid of all my mods and my profiles. i tell you what. Just for this video, I will not. <laughs> Too scared. All right. So if we were to be looking for Oblivion and we want it to get managed, we would type this in. Uh, we would find Oblivion. And similar to all these other 
games that are showing up, we would hit manage on Oblivion. Uh, and then it's going to go through a process where it starts trying to get it all set up. It's eventually going to bring you back here. Um, if for whatever reason it can't find Oblivion Remastered automatically, which might be the case, uh, it's going to throw some errors or something. All you have to do is manually set the location. We're going to go here and... Uh, we can find Oblivion Remastered. I've got it through Steam, so the file location for me is under my C drive, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Oblivion Remastered. Select that folder, and it's going to know that you've got it that in that location, and then... Uh, you can pick from where you've got it. I've got it through Steam, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. It looks like it supports all these other types as well. So that's very convenient, good to know. Okay, so now that we've got Oblivion Remastered managed, uh, I'm going to talk profiles real quick. Uh, when you first load in, you're most likely not going to have all of these different profiles here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through what profiles are and how to manage them. They're very straightforward, very easy. They're not required in order to mod, but they could be very convenient if you want to switch mods for different characters. So for instance, I have a vanilla profile here that has no mods enabled. I have a mod showcase profile for my Monday Mods videos. Uh, currently we've got four mods installed. These are the four that I've been showing off as well as a couple of the mods that aren't showing up here through Vortex. And then I've got this heavy mods profile with 45 mods enabled. Real quick, I'm just going to show you. Um, I have all of these mods installed locally and I hope to have some uh, Monday Mods videos for each and every one of these, every one that I've tested at the very least. Um, but if I switch profiles here and I choose the Heavy Mods profile, for instance, and then we go look at mods, you can see it automatically re-enabled all the mods for the profile I selected. And it keeps a couple of these not installed, um, yeah, so switching profiles, very easy, very simple. Let's say that I have a playthrough of just regular vanilla Oblivion, no mods enabled. I want to experience the game as they made it, and I want achievements enabled and all that. Um, I would just switch to my vanilla profile. We go back to mods, and you can see it's automatically disabled all the mods for that profile. Profiles are very convenient and very good for switching in that case. All you have to do, you can you can edit the default one, and I would, I would set the first profile up as the vanilla, uh, name it vanilla with zero mods as the description, uh, just so you know this profile will always have no mods. Um, and then all it takes to make a new profile is to add here, um, you can name it whatever you like. Let's just say install tutorial. And then I hit enter. And there it is, install tutorial. I can go in and edit it if I want and change the description. Um, very easy to do. You can also remove it if you would like. And then we no longer have that profile. Let's say that I have heavy mods enabled real quick. There's another way to make these profiles. We take a look at these mods, and let's say for heavy mods enabled, oh, where is it? Looking for difficulty slider fixed. Okay, so let's say I'm using difficulty slider fixed 3, but now I want to use difficulty slider 2 for a different profile. But I want to keep all the other mods, and I don't want to go through and re-enable every single one. It's very easy just to clone a profile, and you can say, name it heavy mods times 2. 
um, difficult difficulty slider times two. Go ahead and save it. And if we enable it, you will see it's got all the other mods that uh, the one that we cloned it from has, including difficulty slider three. We'll just disable that and then re-enable difficulty slider two. And that's pretty much all I've got for you for profiles. Um, it's really, really easy to get profiles created. It's very convenient to be able to switch between profiles instead of manually go through all your mods to change them up um, and can get you a couple different play th playthroughs very easily managed. I'm going to go ahead and remove this because I probably won't be using that. Oh, and profile. Because I was the active profile and I deleted it, it's taken me back to the dashboard where we're not working on any games. So I'm going to reactivate uh, Oblivion, and then it asks which one do I want to be working through. And I'll work through Vanilla right now. Switch to game mode, and then we're looking at all of these mods. Now, you notice that there's this error here. The error is there because some people have had issues when they first install Vortex. When they try to run Oblivion, it crashes. And I'm going to walk you through that crash, what went wrong, and how to fix it. So we're going to go ahead and hit play here. It's going to run this, and here in a second, I'm going to get a game crash. And there it is. So this is the Oblivion Remastered famous Vortex crash. There's an unhandled exception, exception access violation. Uh, Oblivion Remastered, Win6 shipping, all this. If you see this, and this is very familiar to you, uh, you're in luck because I have a fix for this very issue. I was helping a friend get Vortex up and running. He ran into this issue. Many, many hours of research and threads later, I found out the load order is the problem. So this tab right here under mods is called load order. Basically what this does is it's the order in which your game is loaded, all the data for your game. And if you notice, there's one particular file here that is at the bottom that absolutely should be at the top. And that's Oblivion ESM. Every single other file here is making changes to Oblivion ESM. But if Oblivion ESM is not installed first, it'll be trying to make changes to a file that doesn't exist. And that's what's causing the issue here. Um, this is not completely the full load order that they expect. They want Alter Deluxe and Alter ESM Main down here. They want Deluxe to go after ESP Main. Um, I think Vortex automatically sorted these in alphabetical order. These two files being required to be last. These two files got moved to the front and Oblivion down here. This right here is the correct load order for Oblivion Remastered. Uh, it includes the base Oblivion game. These are all the DLCs that came out with Oblivion uh, by the end of it. It's got Knights of the Nine, it's got Shivering Isle, it's got the Orrery, it's Horse Armor, all the houses. I think these four files right here are the files that change base Oblivion into uh, Oblivion Remastered. Just quick little FYI, knowledge sharing a little bit. But now that this load order is ready to go, we're going to go ahead and test and make sure that I can run Oblivion Remastered again. So I'm going to hit play real quick. And look at that. Works like a charm.
Alright guys, that is all I've got for this video. I'm going to see you guys later, and happy Mondays. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I really appreciate it, and I hope it was very helpful showcasing this mod and showing how to install it. Um, I'm really hoping that we can get this channel growing so that we can uh, show as many people as possible how uh, easy it is to install some mods and showcase some really good mods that some hardworking people come up with. Um, in order to do that though, I, I'm really going to need you guys' help. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Share this video with as many people as you can. We'll try to get this channel growing and hopefully it helps as many people as possible. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time.